My name is Michael Bowersox and I'm the Programs Manager for Next Adventure. And I'm here today to tell you guys about one of my favorite boats that we sell, the p and Ares 155. As a kayak, this is what we would call a coastal touring boat. 15 feet, nine inches. Super versatile for pretty much everything but your long overnight day trips. At the front of the boat, we have a progressive rocker that starts from roughly your toe box and goes really high and proud out of the water. This large amount of rocker really allows you to stay very maneuverable on flat water and then as the water gets a little bit bumpier, we'll give you good contact and still keep you being able to make the quick tight turns that you need to be able to. Some other features on the top deck here, are we have paddle recesses to very easily stash a spare paddle, an essential for any big sea kayak journey. And in the back here, we have a little spot for us to be able to park our paddle when either launching or landing or for getting in and out of the kayak. Our hatch system to make it nice and versatile for us. We have a bow hatch, what I call the cookie jar hatch, a day hatch, and a stern hatch. Distributing out the hatch volume space in that manner really allows you to dial in what essentials you need quickly accessible and being able to evenly distribute out the weight for your kayak. All of them are using kayak sport hatches which are some of the best in the industry, both in terms of durability and fit. This is gonna be part of the composite line from P&H Sea Kayaks. The composite boats means that they're gonna be made of either a fiberglass material, a Kevlar material, or even potentially carbon fiber. The plus side on all of those materials is that we can get a crispness that just cannot be achieved in molding Sea Kayaks in a plastic mold. P&H combined with one of the UK's top whitewater brands, Piranha. And what that has allowed them to do is they've integrated some of the stylings and fit that you find from the Piranha world and the whitewater world into sea kayaking. So we have a very incredibly ergonomic seat in here, putting the paddler in a very active position, some nice hip shims, a strong back band really there to help keep you in an upright position and then really strong thigh hooks that you can have really good contact with the boat while you're out on the water and being able to edge the boat nicely. Inside also we have some easy to reach foot pegs that allow you to dial it in exactly to what feels the best for you. And when you find that magic spot, locking it in place. Overall design wise, this boat is what we would call a Swede form kayak where the widest part of the boat is actually right behind the paddler. What that allows us is it gives us really good stability when we first sit in it, but it makes it so that the bow is also an incredibly loose and very maneuverable. Gone are the days of having to put all your weight to one side just to get the boat to turn as it's just so nice and open yet incredibly comfortable. The Ares 155 has what we call progressive or mixed chines in that up front here in the front of the kayak and at the stern of the kayak we have some really nice hard chines or edges so that for those of you who are looking for a boat to go surfing with it's going to bite into that wave and carve that beautiful turn in the middle here we have very soft edges or soft chines so that way it keeps the boat comfortable to edge providing a lot of good secondary stability and then what's really fun is that in this very center hole right here, it's almost flat, almost a planing hole. So again, giving you a lot of stability when you're initially going. And then as soon as it picks up to speed, has a glide like none other. But for all of these super maneuverable features, having this squared off stern still allows the boat to track relatively straight and allows you to hold the line that you're looking for with confidence and precision. Other features for when the going gets a little windy is it does have a retractable skeg. And one of the things that I really love about PH Sea Kayaks is that because their skeg slider system is done on a pinching manner, so pinch to release, pull it forward to crank, 
you can really dial in exactly how much you want that skeg to be sitting in the water and affecting your boat. So like any good sea kayak, you're gonna want a lot of versatility on being able to store gear up on your top deck and having some key safety features. Running along the edge of the kayak, we're gonna have deck lines on both the bow and the stern. And these deck lines allow you to not only have some good spaces to help each other out in carrying, but if you do have an out of boat experience, a good strong point to hold on to. To couple that, we have bungees on the stern here and up on the front of the boat as well to hold down essentials like our water bottles, our charts, our spare paddles. Uh, and you'll notice that on the P&H, because they are really committed to a high quality, everything is going to be using a various hex screw to hold stuff down and that these turtles are all keeping the bungees well contained so that you're never going to find yourself with a popped bungee. Then all of the P&H kayaks, they have a locked recess point so that it's easy to put a bike cable, a locking steel cam strap, anything that helps keep your prized possession with you instead of in the hands of somebody else. I think you're gonna be happy with the Ares 155 as that do-everything boat, the quiver killer, and the crispest ride of your life.